Korea, as it will be the first time that a president of the Republic of Korea chairs a Security Council meeting in the capacity of president of the Security Council. It is even more meaningful because this is the first time that a Security Council open debate will focus on artificial intelligence as its main agenda. Since the Republic of Korea joined the United Nations in 1991, this is the third time that my country has taken on the role of a non-permanent member at the Security Council. The Republic of Korea, which has risen from the ash ashes of war with the help of the United Nations and simultaneously achieved democratization and economic prosperity, uh, now seeks to fulfill its responsibility and play a cru cru consequential role for the peace and prosperity of mankind. I believe that today's open debate will be an opportunity for the Republic of Korea to display its leading role in creating a better world. The advances in AI technology has go gone beyond changing our daily lives to drastically shifting the international security environment. Eight years ago when the United Nations was formed, the main concern was how the international community will manage the newly emerging threat of nuclear weapons. Now is the time to seek a new governance structure befitting the new threats and challenges presented by AI. The Republic of Korea has worked to mobilize the cooperation of the international community so that technological innovation brought about by AI may contribute to international peace and security. The reason I propose the theme of AI international peace and security for the open debate during this year's General Assembly is to muster the wisdom of member states and search for a common response. With the goal of achieving AI for peace, security, and humanity, I look forward to in-depth discussions today. Thank you.